today I'm going to be sharing a really small affordable gift guide for presents that you can get a baby for their first Christmas and some little tips and tricks that I have found along the way. Hello, welcome back to another video and welcome to the very first video in my new series of festive uploads. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Grace and I am a new mum to our eight month old little boy called Elliot. And I am basically going to be uploading new festive content every weekday throughout December, sort of a bit like Vlogmas and videos like this with gift ideas and just loads of festive seasonal content. So I'd love it if you hit subscribe if you enjoy this video. And let's get into today's festive upload. We are new parents, so this is gonna be our first Christmas with our son. And because he's still quite young, um, you know, when it's your first Christmas as a family, you don't need to go like overboard with Christmas gifts. I mean, you can if you want to, but for us, Christmas is gonna be more about making all those lovely memories as a family and enjoying all the small things that December and Christmas has to offer. But today I'm gonna to be sharing a really small, affordable gift guide for presents that you can get a baby for their first Christmas and some little tips and tricks that I have found along the way of being a new parent and gifting things to your baby. Okay, you can't go wrong with some Disney movies. And a little tip that I have found is actually to scour Facebook market. We ended up buying a humongous lot of Disney DVDs for under 20 pound. I think we got like 35 D Disney DVDs and it had all things like Pixar, Finding Nemo, um, Toy Story. And to be honest with you, when babies are so young, they're just interested in the movie, aren't they? And as long as the movie works, doesn't really matter if they're second hand. That's a really good tip that we have found. And to be honest, you can find some really good toys on Facebook market as well. Um, you know, if you can clean them up or if they're in pretty good condition, there's nothing wrong with buying things from Facebook market, especially when it's a baby's first Christmas. And things like Disney movies is a really good thing to pick up from like a second hand shop or charity shops, anything like that. But yeah, we bought this humongous Disney bundle. And so we're gonna wrap some of these Disney movies up for him for Christmas because again, baby's just like unwrapping things and he doesn't know these DVDs have already been loved by a child. Um, so yeah, check Facebook market for things like Disney DVDs or second hand charity shops. Um, you can pick up loads of good value things. Um, so we have got here the Jungle Book, Finding Nemo, Frozen and Up. Oh, yeah, that's a really good little tip there that we have found. Uh, we've got loads of things from Facebook market for Elliot actually. Um, and some have been in like amazing condition so you don't always have to buy new especially if you are on a bit of a budget that's a really good tip there another really good tip that i have is to search for toys in places like b m and home bargains um, i picked up this wooden instrument set from home bargains a little while ago and i think it was around 10 pounds which is obviously a really good price point it's got like the maracas the xylophone little triangle um so yeah Places like that do really, really affordable toys. And to be honest, you haven't got to spend a fortune on your baby when it's their first Christmas. They're just interested in anything that's loud and makes a noise and is sort of bright and colorful. And I just thought, because these were wooden, it was quite a nice idea and it comes in this little tray. Um, so yeah, I've got Elliot these for one of his Christmas presents. So another gift that we have picked up for Elliot this year is the Sophie the Giraffe teething ring. I've already spoken about Sophie on my channel before because the actual Sophie toy my son absolutely loves. Um, so we thought that we would pick him up the teething ring toy as well, um, which comes in this nice little gift box. You can buy Sophie the Giraffe from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Or to be honest, I think I've seen Sophie in like supermarkets. So you haven't got to go anywhere special to pick something like this up. Um, so yeah, we really recommend Sophie. My son has absolutely loved um, his Sophie toy. And this one is just the sort of teething ring equivalent. So just something like a teething ring toy um, goes down really well. Um, and it's, I think that was about 11 pounds. So pretty inexpensive as things go. So another tip that I have got in buying presents for your baby's first Christmas, especially if they're really young, would be to buy presents for them that are kind of designed for the next stage up in their life. 
So um, basically things like building blocks are toys for six months plus. And now my son is around that age, we have got him toys that, that he could sort of grow into, if that makes sense. Um, so although this says zero months plus, basically their skills develop and they can use the building blocks as they get a little bit older. So go for toys that maybe um, will last them throughout the year or like for the next six months, stuff like that. Um, so we picked up these soft building blocks from Amazon. Um, I think they were about 15 pounds and they come in this nice little box. They're obviously like fairly small in size. Um, but yeah, I think they're quite educational, these ones. They've got like numbers and um, fruit on and things like that, I believe. I can't remember because um, it's been a while since I picked these up. But yeah, go for toys that are gonna last sort of for a while, um, even if it means getting toys that they maybe grow into. Um, and yeah, again, you can pick something like building blocks up off of Amazon, um, or again, you could probably get something like this from Facebook Market in a really good condition. And um, just make sure that you always go for things that are in good condition if you're buying second hand. Um, so yeah, we've got Elliot a box of building blocks for Christmas as well. Another thing that I've got Elliot for Christmas is this Glow and Discover Light Bar. And I actually picked this up in the supermarket half price. Again, if you can find toys for half price, even if it means buying them a little bit in advance, I've had this um, in the cupboard for absolutely months now because um, I saw it and I just thought that would be probably quite a nice thing to get him for Christmas. So obviously like it lights up, um, I think it plays music and things like that and it's got like a spinning ball. Um, and I think this is really good to encourage them with tummy time because they can lay on their tummy and like push the lights and things like that. So this should have been £25, but we picked it up for £12.50, which I thought was a pretty good price as well. Um, so I thought that's quite interactive and educational. Um, obviously when babies are quite young, toys that are gonna help them develop their skills are really good as well. So I thought that was a really nice one to wrap up for him for Christmas. Can't ever go wrong with buying a load of books for your baby. Um, we absolutely love reading to Elliot in the evenings or in the morning when he's woken up. Um, it's just a really nice interactive way to play. I picked up this Sleep Inside Peter Rabbit book, which is this absolutely beautiful Peter Rabbit book and it's got like beautiful illustrations and it's sort of, you peep through it and it's kind of a little bit more interactive. Um, as Elliot gets a little bit older, I thought something like this would be really nice. Um, and I picked this up when I did a Jojo Mama baby order. Um, I think it was about eight pounds or so. And I just thought that was a really lovely one to keep in his um, shelves, in his bedroom. And so we can read to him and he can have a look at that. So definitely things, if your baby's sort of a little bit older and they're not like newborn baby, um, interactive books is a really nice gift that you can give to your baby. And again, it's quite educational if you're reading to them. Last but not least, I thought that I would include a few little items of clothing that we're gonna be wrapping up for Elliot. Um, because again, babies don't, I know that they're not interested in clothes, but they don't really know. Um, they're just excited to unwrap things. I'm gonna wrap up this little dungaree doggy set, um, which I got from Jojo Mama Baby when they had a 15% off, or it was 20%, I'm not sure. So it's got this lovely red striped t-shirt underneath, and then it's a navy blue dungaree set with little doggies on, which I thought was quite appropriate because we've got our little pug, um, and it's got like this pocket at the front, and I just thought that was the most cutest little outfit. Um, this is six to 12 months, so again, it's gonna fit him like in advance. You know what kids are like, they usually like the wrapping paper and box more than they like the present. Um, so yeah, and then I've got this two pack of t-shirts from Next. I think I mentioned these ones in a vlog a little while ago. Um, so these are nine to 12 months. So again, they will be, he will fit in them in, you know, a month or so's time. But that is a little glimpse into what we're getting our son for his very first Christmas. I'm sure that along the way we will be picking up a few little bits here and there and like wrapping them up as we go along. But as I've said, I don't think we're gonna go too mad because he's only eight months old and he doesn't really know it's Christmas and I'm sure he will just enjoy everything that we've got. This Christmas is just all about making lots of lovely memories with our little baby. So I'm hoping that this sort of affordable gift guide for your baby's first Christmas has been helpful to you or it's given you a few tips and tricks. I thought this gift guide would be a really nice place to start if you are struggling to think what to buy for your baby for their first Christmas. So yeah, hopefully you found it helpful. Give it 
thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and then don't forget to hit subscribe because i am going to be doing a festive upload every weekday throughout december that'll be vlogs and just loads more fun stuff and i would love for you to stick around thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon Bye.